Mecklenburg County District Attorney now requesting assistance from the SBI in an investigation into a Charlotte City Council member. Investigators are looking to see if James Mitchell is breaking the law. You might recall Mitchell served the city for 20 years, but he resigned in January of 2021 after concerns over his role as head of RJ Leaper Construction. Wake Up Charlotte's Richard Devane joins us live this morning. And Richard, Mitchell says he has no problem with this current investigation. Absolutely correct. Good morning to you, Sarah. Good Tuesday morning all. Basically, Mitchell welcomes this investigation that DA Spencer Merriweather is now called for with the SBI. Merriweather, for his part, is not saying why he called for it, but for a long time, the city manager and other people here in the city wondered just what type of stake uh, Mitchell had and if that stake violated the law. Does he or, or not? The city of Charlotte wants the State Bureau of Investigations to figure out if council member James Smudgy Mitchell owns more than a 10% stake in a company that does business with the city. Mitchell, who was just sworn in as an at-large council member, may still own 25% of RJ Leeper. The company works with the city on many projects, including the Charlotte Airport expansion, Charlotte Convention Center renovations, and work on CMS schools. Before he ran for that at-large position, Mitchell stepped down as president of the company, but said at the time he kept a 25% share. But state law prohibits council members from owning more than 10% of any company that does business with the city. Adding to this confusion, R.J. Leeper says that Mitchell lost his stake in the company when he defaulted on a loan to the company back in March. When asked about that, here's what he said then. That is a business matter, and we're going to keep it in the business as a business matter. Now the SBI will investigate how much Mitchell owns of the company and will also reveal if he broke the state law when he was sworn into office. Oh, I look forward to the SBI investigation, and I say let's all pause and wait on the results of the investigation. I look forward to it. Yeah, and again, Mitchell is saying that he is willing to uh, sell off his stake if it's 25%. Of course, all of this should be sorted out by the SBI. The second we hear anything from them, we'll let you know. We're right here in Uptown. Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte. Richard, thank you.